Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts, here to share with you how silly we can be as women. I was at a restaurant and I saw this young lady. She was sitting with a group of people. Her boyfriend was sprawled out on the seat. She barely had room to sit, but she stayed. He is calling her B-I-T-C-H's constantly. He doesn't call her by her name. He calls her by that new nickname. The sad part is she responds to it. She sits with her feelings hurt and her feathers drooped. And she takes it and she takes it. I'm waiting for the woman to get up and walk out. But she sat there and she took it. And she took more of it. And even more than that. My question to you is what makes you stay and take that kind of treatment? What makes you think that things are going to change for the better? Because they're not. What makes you think that that person is even worthy of you staying for? I bet you my bottom dollar that she paid for the meal. I bet you see that she supplied the transportation. And I bet you that he was living on her without contributing a dime. And as far as he was concerned, what was hanging between his legs should be all she needs from him. Because he's all that and a bag of chips in his own mind. And she's nothing but a bee. So as far as he's concerned, she ought to be grateful to have a catch as wonderful as he. My question to you, why do you stay? Why do you take that? You're looking at the wine. You're looking at it when it's nice and red and it gives color in the cup and it moves itself aright. And you're getting hypnotized, hypnotized by this man hypnotized oh he's just so fine he's nothing he's nothing for you to waste your energy your money your time your emotions your body on not when he treats you like a dog and you come wagging your little tail waiting for a pat on the head because what you have become is a pleaser. Look that up in the dictionary. Pleaser. Stop trying to please people. Stop being impressed by things that are unreasonable facsimiles of what you would really like to have. Stop it. It will destroy you. That is the snake that you have chosen to kiss and love. And it bites you in the face. When you put your lips on it, it bites you in the face. When you get close to it and you want to snuggle with it, it bites you in the face. But you keep taking it and you keep coming back for more and it bites you in the face. Why do you keep going in for more? Why are you still there? Ask yourself and ask God that question. Why?